Hey everyone, this is Samir and you are watching Nation Innovation. Today we are going to counter uh, one of the biggest problems that we all face in our day-to-day -day lives, uh, which is the corrupted pen drives. And uh, using this little guy here, this Raspberry Pi, we will be decorrupting and retrieving all the data that we lost because of some uh, sort of ugly virus that came in our flash drive or our SD card or our uh, pen drives. So let's move on to the project. So I recently went, went to a Xerox center where my pen drive dot, got totally corrupted. My whole work was lost and every data that I uh, included, uh, I had uploaded in my pen drive, everything was lost. So let me test whether the pen drive were worth solve on my PC or not. Let me plug in the pen drive. So here as you can see, I have inserted the pen drive but still the message being displayed is that please insert a disk into the USB drive E. So my pen drive is totally gone, but that's not the case that we are being discussed. We are being discussing in this video. Let's see what Raspberry Pi does with this pen drive and how does it repair it. So let's have a look at that. So as you can see, I have plugged in my pen drive, this one, this pen drive here in the Raspberry Pi. I'm using the uh, TFT touch screen in order to uh, in, uh, in order to view all the results on the raspberry pi itself instead of uh, uh, using putty or uh, mobile ads term from the laptop uh, using ssh so uh, let's have a look at how the program works the you, you can see there are three buttons detect decorrupt and retrieve data the detect button will uh, will detect whether the pen drive is corrupted or not the decorrupt button will uh, deter up the pen drive and restore its uh, file system back to FAT32 uh, format and the retrieve data will extract all the all the almost all of the data from the pen drive that was lost and store it inside the Raspberry Pi itself. So let's begin our demo. First I will be clicking on the uh, detect button. I am using mouse to interface mouse to uh, uh, to move the cursor because uh, the touch facility in my TFT screen is slightly damaged. So uh, please bear with me. Let's uh, click on the detect button. You can see uh, it displays the corrupt drive is detected. It means that my pen drive is totally corrupted. Now let's decorrupt the pen drive. It will take some time. And now it uh, displays removable drive is decorrupted. Now let's retrieve the all the data that, that was lost. So let's click on the retrieve data button. It will take some more time because uh, there there is uh, this pen drive is around 14 GBs and there is lots and lots of data that I, I had put, it, put inside it. So this function will uh, scan all of the uh, drives and all of the directories inside the pen drive and it will retrieve the data and store inside a, a folder inside the Raspberry Pi itself. Right now I have not included the facility to uh, uh, store the retrieved data directly inside the pen drive but that can also be done by modifying the script just slightly. By just changing the destination directory uh, of the data to be stored we can convert it convert it from uh, storing inside the raspberry pi to storing inside the pen drive so first let's have a look at the recovered files the path you are that you are seeing this one on the screen this is the path where i have stored all the recovered files inside the raspberry pi as i said earlier so first let's have a look at the folder inside uh, the folder called recovered files that what all content is there inside the folder so as you can see uh, the software that I have designed which uh, will not only uh, recover the files but also uh, group the files according to that file type like ppt here you can see ppt format is there uh, the pdf format mpeg format so uh, it will uh, recover all these files and also group them so uh, let's uh, uh, all all of these that you are seeing on the screen they all of these are folders and inside these folders those uh, files are stored. So let's see what's inside the JPEG folder. You can see so large number of files were recovered. This, uh, but, but one thing is observed is being observed here 
that the name of the file will not be the same as the original file that you stored but the content will be same all right now let's test our pen drive like whether it, it is being detected by the system or not so now let me plug in the pen drive as you can see it detected the pen drive as e drive and let's open it continue without scanning and yeah you can see here that uh, earlier this uh, drive uh, it was not just uh, detecting the uh, pen drive only but right now the drive is being detected and it is also open the drive is currently empty we can modify the python script inside the raspberry pi to recover all the files and store inside the uh, this uh, pen drive itself but right now i have not included that functionality in that script so in this video you saw a demo of how to repair a pen drive using a, uh, using your raspberry pi if you want this code, the ehc file the executable file of this code you can go to our website www.nationin.com further if you like this video do consider subscribing clicking the subscribe button and all the descriptions you need about about us will be in the description below thank you